I want to welcome you uh, to this uh, wonderful facility. The Art Gallery in many ways uh, represents a, a milestone for the college and the community, and, uh, as well as our art program here at the college. For many years, uh, uh, Marion Wilner and the, uh, Ron Lister and uh, Eileen Farley all uh, talked about uh, arranging an uh, art gallery for the college and for the community. And, and here we now have the dream come true. And it's just a wonderful facility. Uh, in many ways, uh, we're, we, have to, uh, we hope to keep it open for uh, community use, uh, not only the college, but the community, and bringing the uh, mission of the community college into the community. I want to give special thanks to uh, uh, President Farley uh, for her uh, uh, great help in getting this arrangement made. Uh, she is in uh, Turkey uh, today. Uh, and uh, she's disappointed that she can't be with us. And uh, even though she's enjoying Turkey, her thoughts are with us. Uh, I also want to thank the uh, BCC uh, Foundation uh, Board for its wonderful work in arranging the financing, the all-important financing for this. Uh, it took uh, well over $500,000 uh, to bring this to fruition. And, uh, and the board and uh, Maureen Sylvia, Dean, Dean Sylvia, would very patiently uh, Went, a, went ahead in the project and worked at it uh, diligently until you, we have what you see today. Uh, and talk, thank to, uh, my thanks to uh, Fred Sullivan, the chairman of the board, whom you'll meet in a little bit. But now it's my pleasure to introduce to you uh, Richard Wolfson, who is the vice chair of our board of trustees, but also on the uh, art gallery board of the, uh, for, for, this, for this project. Mr. Wolfson. Thank you. I'm pinch hitting today for our chairman, John Almeida, who was not able to be with us, but uh, he wanted to extend his best wishes to everyone here. On behalf of the trustees, I want to thank everyone who's here uh, today for your support of the gallery campaign and for the ongoing support uh, of the college and of the students at the college. The board recognizes and applauds the dedication and the ongoing efforts of the BCC Foundation to generate private support to help us meet the educational needs of our students and to provide the additional support that makes so much of a difference in and out of the classroom. I'd also like to, re uh, to recognize several other individuals from the key partners who made this gallery such a fine addition to the college. And uh, when I mention the names, if they would just uh, be recognized, representing the Division of Capital Asset Management, David Berkowitz, the Assistant Director. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Graham Nolan, the Project Manager. And John Carlson, the construction engineer for the project. The architects, David Hanlon and John Garahan, who took the preliminary ideas, met with the gallery committee on many occasions to design the beautiful space that we're admiring here today. I know that Jim Collins is here from Collins Construction. And I want to say that we were all at the college very pleased that the bid for this project was able to go to a local and highly respected company like Collins. Now finally, as one who has witnessed the planning, the funding, and the construction of this magnificent project, Ab Ovo, it's my great pleasure to introduce the chair of the gallery campaign committee, Helen Marie Booth, whose commitment to the college, to the foundation, and to the arts in this entire community is filled with energy, style, and grace. Thank you, Dick. President Spraga and generous contributors, members of the board of trustees, foundation board members, friends of the arts, friends of the college, and a special, special tribute to the students at the college. It's a great day for BCC, and it's all made possible by everyone who is standing here in this beautiful gallery right this minute. 
This is a culmination of a dream here at the college that goes back at least 15 years. There were some wonderful art exhibits here, right outside in the brick area. I'm sure you remember that. But the problem was always that uh, we didn't know how to protect the pieces and how to secure them at night. Well, we have solved the problem by the generosity of all of you here today. I would like to acknowledge all of the donors who have given so generously and with such foresight. You are truly friends of the college and truly believe in the impact of the arts in the lives of us all. I would also like to thank, collectively and individually, the members of the committee responsible for raising the funds to make it possible. You were the catalyst, and you deserve full credit. You worked very hard, and you succeeded. As I introduce the committee members, would you please raise your hand so everybody can know exactly who you are? Zelma Braga. Leonard and Jay Chase. Eileen, of course, would be here. We know that. But in absence here, we'll think of her. Loretta George is not here. Ron Lister is here. Richard Pelletier and Sheila Salvo and Bob Sheeran are not here. They could not be here. John Stobart. Maureen Sylvia, <laughs> Betty Welsh, and Richard Wolfson. Now, I hope that you will all return for yet another unveiling. When, in the spring, our sculpture garden will be blooming and blossoming. Thanks to Ruth Brown for the initial funding and to the Massachusetts Cultural Council and to the Fall River Cultural Council, we have several very interesting sculptures that will be in place for you to ponder when you seek peace and relaxation. <laughs> Thank you all. It's a pleasure. Also, it's a greater pleasure for me now to be able to introduce Fred Sullivan, who's the president of our BCC Foundation and the executive vice president of the first Federal Savings Bank of America. Thank you, HM, President Sprague, members of the Board of Trustees, foundation directors, guests, and especially donors. It is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to our new art gallery, a public-private partnership project that will benefit BCC students and the community for years to come. I'd like to take just a moment to highlight some of the leadership gifts that made this campaign successful. The very early commitment of the directors of the Grimshaw Goodowitz Foundation, who stayed with the project through several renovations, gave us the incentive to believe that this project was achievable, even as it grew in size and cost. Mr. and Mrs. Harold Lash, made a leadership gift to support the gallery even before we made the public announcement. Their ongoing support has provided countless scholarships, support in the early days for the gala, this project, and the endowment for the Learning Resources Center. Dr. and Mrs. Paul Dunn, who made a gift to name the exhibit hall, Dr. Dunn is a bit of an artist himself and took a course at the college years ago on Durfee Street. This afternoon, I am wearing my BCC Foundation hat, so to speak, but I take great pride in acknowledging a grant from the First Fed Charitable Foundation to fund the reception area. Bob Stoiko, President and CEO of First Fed, deserves all the credit because it was his idea to establish the First Fed Foundation as part of our way of giving back to the community. The college and the BCC Foundation certainly appreciate the support of First Fed for the gallery and several other projects on campus. Light Allier, a local manufacturer of lighting fixtures, donated all the fixtures for the gallery. They delivered their in-kind contribution before we had even broken ground for the construction. I've been told that we have museum quality lighting in the gallery as a result of their donation. And just when we wondered how we were going to make it over the top, 
Ruth Brown, a member of our foundation board, stepped forward in her own quiet way to commit to the donation for the sculpture courtyard. The Ruth Brown sculpture courtyard is due to be completed in late spring. You can have a look at the design for the area over by the door. I'd love to mention everyone who contributed to the gallery, but that would take all night. So please accept my thanks, <clears throat> excuse me, accept my thanks. Regardless of the size of your gift, your support of this project is what really turned a dream into a reality. I'd now like to ask Mrs. Virginia Lash and Barry Robbins of the Grimshaw Goodowitz Board of Directors to step up to unveil the donor recognition plaque listing all donations of 1,000 or more. <clears throat> And now President Sprague will just say a few more words in conclusion. Okay. Well, my thanks again to everyone, uh, Fred Sullivan and the BCC Foundation and everyone who's in generous uh, tre time and treasure and talent have contributed to this great project. Uh, I want to again mention President Farley who uh, ex exerted outstanding leadership in arranging uh, making most of the arrangements as well. Uh, you know, it's a great a uh, thrill for me. Uh, it's all in timing, I guess. Uh, uh, she did all the work, and I'm here to get all the credit. Uh, so it worked out well. <laughs> but uh, this uh, uh, art gallery now completes the facet of the Jackson Arts Center, uh, a treasure really for the community, as well as uh, a vital cog in our instructional offerings at the college. Uh, as a byproduct, I've, I can mention to you that I uh, have come from an institution with an art gallery and I have seen firsthand the value of community relationships as well as instructional uh, offerings here at, the, at an art gallery. And I can uh, say that we're looking forward with great uh, optimism about the uh, activities that will uh, take place in this in this wonderful facility. We have exhibits, uh, uh, lectures, and presentations, and uh, uh, really a, a remarkable and formidable agenda. And to help us with that agenda, we have uh, uh, accepted a new uh, director of the uh, art gallery, and that I'd like to introduce to you, uh, uh, Miss Kathleen Hancock, who received her uh, bachelor's uh, degree in fine arts from Western Kentucky University. She received her master's in fine arts from the Pratt Institute. Uh, she has taught at uh, Rhode Island School of Design, the Community College of Rhode Island, Roger Williams University, and for years now she has been the exhibit director and assistant director uh, in, in the Fall River Museum. So we're very pleased and honored to have her join our Bristol Community College family. Please welcome Kathleen Hancock. Uh, first of all, I want to say what a pleasure it is to be here tonight and what a pleasure it has been uh, in the last couple of weeks pulling together a wonderful exhibition of works from the permanent collection here at Bristol Community College. There are 41 works in the exhibition culled from more than 150 pieces in our permanent collection. And this collection begun in 1979 as part of the Massachusetts 1% for the Art program uh, contains um, uh, many works that form a significant group of a limited edition fine art prints, important paintings, drawings, watercolors, and photography. Nationally and internationally known artists represented include uh, Grace Bentley Sheck, Stephen Brigidy, Robert Nefson, Richard Yard, as well as works by Marion Vilner and Ron Lister. In recognition of the educational role of the gallery to the campus community, we are also pleased to include several works made by artists when they were students here. Um, I think that's probably it, but thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I feel like I'm at the very end of this whole process, and it's a wonderful pleasure to have been in, involved as much as I have been, and also to have met with Marion Vilner. 
uh, walking across campus and getting used to the collection. And I hope you enjoy the exhibition. Thank you. Well, that really concludes our presentation. I hope you enjoy uh, the plaque, uh, a very impressive plaque that we have unveiled, as well as the facility. Uh, the Grimshaw Gudowitz Art Gallery is open for, uh, for business. Thank you, and please enjoy.
fishing boat, <laughs> which I rarely do. And it took a fall. For a while. For a while. I was just going to
I put everything on my cap. I go back and forth with long hair. I don't know. Putting funerals on a cover cap. Dude, real politics. I know. I know. Thank you. 